Pulmonary, metastasis, thoracic masterclass. Pulmonary, metastasis, are neoplasms that spreads from a primary lesions. Almost any cancer has the ability to spread to the lungs, but the tumors most commonly do so include cancers from bladder, colon, breast, prostate, Wilms tumor, and neuroblastoma. Mechanisms The mechanisms through which cancer spreads to the lungs are direct extension or true metastatic. Direct extension can occur from the chest wall, the mediastinum, esophagus, thymus, or tumor thrombus from renal cell carcinoma, or the stickler germ cell tumor is through metastatic cancer or through bloodstream, lymphatics, airway, pleura, or iatrogenic implantation. Multidisciplinary philosophy, lung metastasis is usually the marker of stage 4 malignant disease. In certain circumstances, surgical resection with curative intent can be performed, with a reported 5-year survival rate up as high as 30 to 40 percent. However, this depends on the underlying primary malignancy and the selection criteria for surgery. Approach to patients with lung metastasis, presentation, asymptomatic, even in multiple lung metastasis, as the lesions are peripheral, symptomatic, recent onset of shortness of breath and dry cough denotes lymphatic spreads, pleural effusion, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, pulmonary venoocclusive disease, as a result of chemotherapy, or interstitial fibrosis as a result of radiotherapy, recent onset, of chest pain, and hematosis denotes endobronchial spread. Symptoms and signs of primary tumor and advanced cancer spread. Eligibility for metastatectomy in a fit patient with primary tumor controlled, no other metastasis elsewhere, free mediastinal lymph nodes, resectable metastasis, and no other treatment available. Metastatectomy is then indicated. Other strategies for lung metastasis, other than resection, endobronchial management, which includes laser ablation, cryotherapy, stent placement, brachy therapy. Radiofrequency ablation, video-assisted thoracoscopic biopsy may be indicated to verify or confirm pathology, allowing genetic studies and receptors identification for possible targeted therapy, chemotherapy with changing of protocols. Scenarios of patients with lung metastasis, this could be either unknown primary or known primary. In patients with unknown primary in which lung metastasis is the first presentation and this is usually seen with adenocarcinoma. Or known primary with a free disease interval, this is usually seen with cancer colon, germ cell tumors, renal cancer, sarcomas, melanoma, and breast cancer. Investigations, imaging procedures which includes, just x-ray, HSCT scan, PET scan, diagnostic biopsy which can be achieved through transit thoracic needle aspiration, transbronchial lung biopsy, video assistant thoracoscope, biomarkers such as C, carcinome bryonic antigen, for cancer, alpha feta protein for your hepatocellular carcinoma, and non seminomatous germ cell tumors, human chorionic gonadotrophin in non seminomatous germ cell tumora, prostate specific antigen in cancer prostate, theroglobulin, in follicular thyroid cancer, CA99 in cancer pancreas, and gastric cancer, CA125 in ovarian cancer. Radiological features of lung metastasis. Pulmonary metastasis typically appear as peripheral, rounded nodules of variable size, scattered throughout both lungs. Atypical features include consolidation, cavitation, calcification, hemorrhage, and secondary pneumothorax. CT scan is excellent and visualization pulmonary modules. Typically, metastases appears as soft tissue attenuation, well circumscribed, rounded lesions, more often in the periphery of the lung. A prominent pulmonary vessel has frequently been noted, heading into a metastasis, this has been termed the feeding vessel sign. Why we should biopsy suspected lung metastasis first to confirm the diagnosis in patients with previous primary allowing proper protocol, second differential diagnosis for multiple masses, or solitary pulmonary nodules which may come out as TB, sarcoidosis, granulomatosis, rheumatoid nodules, also, allow study of genetics and receptors for alternative target therapy, it may diagnose patients with secondary metastasis, however in most cases further immunohistochemistry, and other studies are needed to detect unknown primary. Poor prognostic factors for metastatectomy, number of metastasis, short disease-free interval, presence of positive biomarkers, incomplete resection, and short doubling time.
metastatic colorectal cancer, good prognosis, and good surgical candidate have single lung metastasis and up to three, disease-free interval more than one year, negative carcinoembryonic antigen biomarker, negative mediastinal lymph nodes, and complete resection, the five-year survival is 50% in these cases. Metastatic renal cell carcinoma, prolonged survival after multimodality treatment with 40% five-year survival for metastatic renal cell carcinoma, pterogated therapy as cytokines, antiangiogenic, and mTOR drugs improved survival together with pulmonary metastatic to me. Metastatic sarcomas, osteosarcoma have a better 5 years survival of about 35% compared to other soft tissue sarcomas about 25%, for an osteosarcoma that recurs as one or more lung lesions only more than one year, after the patient is off therapy, surgical resection alone can be curative, the likelihood of metastasis to other sites is low, chemotherapy is warranted if recurrence occurs earlier, in such cases, the risk of other micrometastatic disease is high. Metastatic germ cell tumor, chemotherapy is the treatment of choice with metastasis, however indication for metastatectomy may follow, if there is residual mass, recurrence after, or during chemotherapy, to determine the viability of the tumor, and resection of benign part of the tumor for example teratoma, the 5 years survival following metastatectomy is 75%. Metastatic melanoma, metastasis occurs in 30% of patients, with only 7 months median survival after lung metastasis, the 5 years survival following with metastatectomy, is 20-33%, to however prognosis is better with disease, free and delivery of more than 3 years and if the metastasis is solitary, 